Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your mate. We have the Hermit, the Hangman Reverse, the Queen of Wands, the High Priestess Reverse, Page of Cups, the Tower Reverse, the Two of Cups Reverse, Queen of Swords, the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups Reverse. Okay, so I believe it was last month that um, you, the situation itself, like relationship-wise, you know, work, business, and um, love, and overall family relationships, um, it might have been like a little rough for you. And I do feel that for this month, there's a lot more clarity moving forward because at least you already know what has happened and how you can move forward. And I feel that you're kind of like propelled to move forward and kind of like pulled along so you don't really have much say and in the first two weeks I do feel that a lot of you are um, putting on a very brave face okay so you're looking at the past you've come to terms with it and you've realized that you know either you can sit and wait for it or you can like choose to um, choose to overlook it and continue with it so I do feel that um, there's a little bit of a um, ambivalence here so a lot of the information that might have been exposed be it you know like uh, new information coming to light especially last month and you're trying to tell yourself what you should do and I don't feel that you've made a decision about what you should do yet it's still a little problematic and that's why I say that you're putting on your brave face because deep down I feel that a lot of you might still be a little hurt and you're recoiling from this okay so there is a situation that has definitely fallen out and with this in the reverse position whatever it is that you were dealing with last month and to this point where it still tugs at your heartstring I would advise you that um, with the two of cups in the reverse position this is basically the relationship has run its course that is the name of this card you know the uh, relationship itself is done you and the other party have learned everything that is necessary that is required of you in this union so if it's a work relationship if it's like even if it's like a totally karmic totally faded relationship I do feel that it has run its course okay so cut your losses and move forward a lot of you are trying to get to that point where you can actually like um, I feel that uh, some of you might convince yourself of that fact but you haven't really like your head and your heart are not in this on the same page yet for you to fully implement it and like to walk away without regret so you're still trying to figure things out and that's okay this seems like a very traumatic experience we have the tower in the reverse position because you know it happened it's very sudden it it did happen and you can't really ignore this fact but you're kind of like turning the other way so like I said it could play out in two ways a lot of you are like very very hurt and you are trying to figure out should I just overlook it? I don't feel that it's a situation that you can overlook because very quickly you are going to get reminders of this and every time you're reminded of it, it hurts. You know, it, it like it it's like pin and needles, like sitting on pin and needles and waiting for everything to just like collapse. Like you're just waiting for like the the signal and then every time it just comes up so it's it's really important to not be in denial about this and really accept it for what it was and just move on from this because I don't feel it can be fixed and in the same um, on the same note you know by like overlooking it it is going to resurface in the in, in the future and it is going to be more hurtful so I just want you to be aware of that fact okay and I feel this is for mainly for like Aquarius um, I'm sorry Sagittarius women I do feel it mainly for Sagittarius women that you are overlooking a lot of things so it's very important for you to you know take this month it doesn't seem like a very hectic month 
Um, emotionally, it's like a on and off, you know, like the first two weeks looks fine. And then the last two weeks, if you haven't dealt with the energy of the first two weeks, which is, you know, resolution, you are going to hit like brick walls towards the, the second two weeks. So it's important for you to just be really careful about how you want to direct this energy, okay? What I'm sensing is a lot of things come up and you have to like uh, deal with them. But you are complacent and you, you are like sitting back. You're taking a step back rather than diving in head first, which could be good or bad depending on the situation that you're in. However, I do feel the overall energy is that um, you really have to be proactive, but instead you're taking a seat back, uh, back seat approach. And um, what I'm sensing is a lot of you who are a little more complacent in this situation or who have chosen to take a back seat, it's because you don't know where to go, you don't know how to progress, and you don't want to make the wrong decision, okay? And I feel in general that um, you know where you're supposed to go, but there is a little bit of self-doubt here that is hindering the progress. So just be a little careful about that, okay? And at the same time, what I'm sensing is like a kind of like a duality here. This is um, the Queen of Wands as a fire sign. This is representative of you. And wand energies are very like proactive, very are very like passionate. And then you have this Queen of Swords, which is like the analytical energy, okay? So this is like the, the mind, like your heart and mind are not in the same place. Because of this relationship, this work project, this um, falling out, this end to something, it's an end to something that you relied on, that you were, you thought would have longevity, would have sustaining power, okay? And I do feel that in the past to um, whoever you were involved with, they promised you all these things that they could not deliver. And honestly, you knew they couldn't deliver, okay? You, 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 they like pulled you along and you knew that they couldn't deliver on it. And yet you went along with it and now like it, it's been, it, it's getting to this point and you can't like, you were blaming yourself, but don't blame yourself because, you know, if you don't give that person a chance, you would live to regret it. So you did what you had to do given the information and given the circumstances. So don't beat yourself up over it. Just move past it. In general, moving on is not going to be a problem for you. I feel that you just have to make up your mind to do it. And then it's like easy street, you know, but it's just like you're grappling with this all the information that is given to you, you're fluctuating back and forth and your mind and your heart are not in sync yet. So try to like, um, you know, being a fire sign, I would say, try to like find it in your heart, all the good reasons um, in your heart, why it is important for you to like, just leave it behind completely and like start fresh. And then your mind will quickly like transfer over, okay? And then you'll be in the same place. Uh, so, yeah, that would be the only advice that I can give in this situation regarding that, um, that falling out. But I would say, you know, we've all been through it, and you can't have new things unless you get let go of the old, okay? So really try to let go of the old, because the old doesn't seem to be very conducive for longevity. And you're in a good place right now to actually implement new new changes and new um, structure into your life. So really take this opportunity to do you rather than working on situations where the other party is not in sync with you, okay? So really try to um, rectify that within yourself too more than anything because I do feel the external environment itself is pretty much laid out, it's pretty set. So it's all it's um, that's required right now is whether you want to like forge your own path or you know like go back like work within the confines that somebody else set out for you which is not fair and they shouldn't have imposed that in the first place but I do feel that they were premature in promising all these things and that they never uh, had intentions on following through with okay so moving in um, towards like the end of this month what I do feel is that um, if you have people coming back from your past, and I feel that most of you will, okay, I want you to really take a good look at the past and see why they're in your past for a reason and how, like, 
uh, you and the other con person contributed to this current situation and how it has grown over time and what really transpired between the two of you, okay? Get like a little more sense of clarity. I feel that this is uh, the first two weeks would be a good time to do that. And then the second uh, two, the, the, the last two weeks of the month would be a good time to like strengthen your resolve, to basically build up your, your um, armory to if the person chooses to come back then you can like demand answers then you can like um, arm yourself with all the right reasons why that's not a good idea and why you shouldn't put yourself in the, the that um, in that situation in the first place so it's important for you to basically use your head I feel that you are going to get weak of, uh, around the knees when the other person apologizes or when they come in bearing gifts or like you know bearing nice things so it's important for you just to strengthen your resolve and proceed ahead as if as if they can't affect you okay because I do feel that you know rationality is out the door when this person is in the picture and you know better than to trust this person and yet you know time and time again you give them a chance and then you just end up with like an illusion you just end up with like perpetually kept in the dark perpetually confused by their actions and kind of like uh, not knowing what you want to do so you know without this energy in your life everything seems like very clear-cut but then when this person is in your midst with all this watery like um, this is a water sign but it could also be just like a just emotional baggage okay so I have a lot of cups energy with this tower it's a major arcana and then this other cups energy that didn't work out so I feel like it didn't work out once it didn't work out again and there was like you know um, possibly an argument as to who did what and you know like uh, accusations accusations <laughs> thrown back and forth and I, I feel just in general you know you you can rise above all of this this doesn't need to happen so it just feels to me that um, this is cyclical it should have ended and it keeps going back it keeps cycling back in and like I, I mentioned this for Aquarius this has happened many times for Aquarius and Pisces too just because it keeps cycling back in doesn't mean it's faded because fate is what um, fate and destiny are the things that um, our actions can dictate, can control. So you are not fated for anything you don't want to be, okay? But this is the, the problem here. I do feel that, um, you know, false promises leading to, like, high expectations and then none of it just pans out. Things just flop, okay? So know who you're dealing with and know, know the history, know that... Um, People, you know, as much as we want to um, invest in people, sometimes people just don't change, okay? And if they change, it requires, a lot of the times, it requires people hitting rock bottom for them to fully implement meaningful changes, meaningful and lasting changes in their lives. So that is just like, uh, deep down, that is human nature. So if you're dealing with a person and you keep expecting them to change, I do feel that um, the lesson here is not, you know, that one day they'll change and they'll come around. It's that you have to let go and um, release the outcome. Basically, don't be so heavily invested in the outcome that you lose yourself just trying to maintain that relationship, that situation, that work, that job. Um, if it hasn't changed by this time, I don't believe it, it's going to, okay? And um, it's important for you to, like, cut your losses and really get past this. And I'm getting the same type of readings across the board, too. And I do feel that um, Mercury in retrograde is happening in May. So there would be communication problems. But at the same time, this is something drastic. This is not something that you can recover from overnight. You know, it happens very swiftly. But at the same time, it is in the reverse position. So I feel that it... It has happened or at the same time like you kind of anticipated it happening so then you're you're you have like more cushion you have more time to um, to deal with the aftermath basically so either way I do feel that in general um, it is not something that can be repaired coupled with this card I don't feel that it's something that is even worth your time repairing 
because it takes two and you're the only one putting in the effort, okay? So that's not going to work out very well. For some of you, this might be a relationship situation or, you know, even a work situation in which you're dealing with somebody who you're, like, um, working really hard at your job. You're expecting, like, promotions. You're expecting to get, like, that corner office or even, like, uh, to move... Um, laterally like even horizontally like to manage a branch or a, another branch or something like that you know or to expand into like a different uh, market and then you feel that um you know you put in the work and then the other person just goes ahead and you know proceed with somebody else or they they promise they promise they promise and they never follow through and even till the end of this month i don't feel there's resolution in this there's any like um definitive answer as to how you can proceed ahead so they keep like sucking you back in and they don't really have any like long-term solid plans for you okay so in all aspects of your life it is very very important for you to like uh, look at the situation shine shed light on it and really look at the patterns in behavior of the other party that you're dealing with and um, if you see a pattern, it should, um, that's a red flag, okay? So if they're just like, you know, very uh, unpredictable and, you know, sporadic, then maybe, maybe, maybe you can give them another chance. But if there are definitely like patterns of flakiness and uh, lies and deceptions and misleading and things like that, you know, it's just important for you to identify these patterns and just um, try to, Try to bridge the gap between your heart and your head, okay? That's going to help you in all aspects of your life. So I'm very sorry for the grim reading once again, Sagittarius, but um, I do feel that, you know, having, let's see, three, yeah, four, four major arcana here. It's, it is going to be a, um, so that, I have ten cards, so one, that's half of the cards laid out, okay? So I do feel in general that, um, it is going to be like a, a a pivotal month for you like you're basically at a crossroads this is the way i'm looking at it and you haven't made up your mind yet so that's um that's something that you is still within your power and what i'm sensing is just this so it can go two ways too so this is you know um going back to things that didn't work and then this is basically it they're saying that you might be sucked into it by the end of this month. And then another way, this is all the bad things that are um, happening in life, okay? Relationship, this could be on the home life, this could be dealing with children. This could just be, um, people are not, are deceptive, okay? So these are all the problematic things. And these are generally the, the better things that you want in your life, okay? So you're in the middle here. And um, you're in a period of suspension, so you're still waiting. And you're turning away away from that weight because you don't really want to wait anymore. But the weight is going to give you the insights that you need to move forward because your intuition has been like leading you ast astray. And you kind of know this, but you don't really have anything tangible, anything like to grasp at. So you're just trying to move forward, okay? And you're... It, it's just between a rock and a hard place is what I'm sensing because you don't want to go back to the past so you're staying in one place and you're still trying to decide and I don't feel you've made a decision yet so um, hopefully the way this energy plays out is that um, you can reach a resolution at least you know to um, find a balance between your what what it is that you want and what it is that's good for you because I, I feel that these things are in disarray okay they're not in alignment with one another and then when we have like um, inner conflicts or or when our hearts and our minds are not in agreement and inner conflicts are probably the worst kinds to be in mainly because they stem from within and we don't really take pride in being you know the source of our own pain and our own anguish so um, it's just important to like you know rectify this because once you do it I feel that you're going to be okay. That's all you need. Like that's the first step that you need, and then everything else will fall into their place, their respective places. Okay, and life will get easier. 
So, um, yeah, I am very sorry for the grim reading, but I do hope that you have clarity to move forward in this and to at least figure out what it is that you want to do. And um, I'll come back next week for the weekly reading, and I hope the weekly reading sheds um, some insight, you know, at least from a different perspective, so that we can at least resolve this. I'll see you next week.